instructional video will show how the RockWorks program can be used to display digital images in three dimensions. The following examples and demonstrations will hopefully give you some ideas about how you can use these tools to view your own data. Let's start with some paper cross sections. Now let's assume that we want to display these cross sections in their respective three-dimensional locations. The first step is to determine the XYZ coordinates for the lower left corner of each section. Next, we determine the XYZ coordinates for the upper right corner of each section. The next step is to scan this diagram using a flatbed or a self-feeding scanner. This will save the section in a raster format such as JPEG or TIFF or BMP or PNG. Next, we create a RockWorks data sheet that lists the image names and their associated corner point coordinates. Finally, we select the vertical images to 3D panels program from the RockWorks imagery menu and voila! We might also want to add other information that is stored within a RockWorks database such as borehole diagrams, surface models, ISO surfaces of block models, draped air photos, and so on. In this fashion, you can integrate human and computer generated graphics within a three dimensional environment. Now, these graphics don't have to be based on original paper copies. Consider this example, in which the geology is just too complex for RockWorks to handle. These images represent CAD drawings of maps and cross sections for the Pea Ridge Iron Mine in southern Missouri. Notice the level of detail. By the way, these diagrams were generated by our friends at the Doe Run Mining Company, the Missouri State Geological Survey, and the United States Geological Survey. Thanks, guys. If we save these CAD drawings as raster images and use the vertical and horizontal image to panel programs and add some annotation, the following diagram can be easily generated. Not bad, huh? Now, to create a conventional computer model that approximates this geology, and then to be able to slice it in order to produce these rotating cross-sections and mine-level maps would be, well, let's just say it would be difficult and expensive, like Ferrari expensive, new house expensive, ugly divorce expensive. Or we could just draw the cross-sections using our well-evolved neural networks, and bingo, we've got a product. How about some ground-penetrating radar, GPR images? It's that easy. You could even do the same thing with seismic profiles. Let's bypass the Segway import rigmarole and just plot the dang things in 3D. Converting these old Soviet profiles from northern Afghanistan into Segway format would be a major hassle. Instead, we've taken images of these profiles and simply displayed them at their proper locations. Another example of imagery and three-dimensional presentations involves raster logs. The RockWorks Borehole Manager includes a table for storing raster imagery of borehole cuttings, core photomicrographs, old scanned paper logs, etc. These images may be displayed in their appropriate locations by using the 3D log plotting capabilities within RockWorks. This information can be combined with other digital data such as lithology, stratigraphy, geophysics, etc. for a fairly dramatic effect. Now here's one of the most commonly asked questions in regards to images. How can we drape an image or an air photo, a satellite image or a map over a three-dimensional surface? Here's how. Select the drape option from within the imagery menu. Identify the reference grid, i.e. the grid that defines the surface over which the image is to be draped, and presto. As with all rock plot 3D diagrams, any display such as this draped image can be combined with other types of data to create some fairly useful presentations. Our final example, while slightly off topic, geologically speaking, shows just how generic RockWorks can be in regards to displaying images in 3D. In this example, we took a series of 44 MRI or nuclear magnetic resonance imagery of the human brain and displayed them as a sequence of vertical images within rock plot. The net result is a fairly dramatic presentation that allows us to see inside something that's spatially and emotionally complex. Look familiar? Well, that's about it for using RockWorks to display imagery in a 3D environment. By now, I'm sure that you've got your own ideas about how to use these tools and visualize your own data. Thanks for watching.